Hey everyone, this is Mr. Everything. I got this new uh, Samsung Curved Monitor, and it's a pretty neat monitor, and there's really not that many videos on YouTube of it. So I decided I would go ahead and unbox it, and hopefully in a little bit do a review. There was a few other monitors I was actually going to go with. I, I, I've actually used a laptop at my desk. I just recently started using it at a desk, and then I ended up getting a monitor over the summer. And it was pretty small, just a cheap one, just to, and I did prefer sitting at a desk to use my laptop. So I wanted to upgrade. So this, hopefully I got all this pretty much in the shot. I was actually thinking about getting an older Dell Ultra Sharp. The really nice ones that have all of like the component inputs and DVI and everything. And they went for about $150. And I figured if I'm going to pay that much for like an 8-year-old monitor, I might as well buy something new. And when I saw this curved design, I thought this would be a really nice monitor. Okay, just some papers. I might check that later. No uh, driver disc. Some people recommended installing the drivers, which I would always recommend installing them. So VGA, if you still use that and the power plug and then this power brick which is pretty small so that's not too bad at all and then this is like the rotating part of the stand and then I'll do that in a minute there was actually and then after I decided I was just going to get a newer monitor there was this Asus monitor which I'll just bring it up it's the MX239H, which looks like a pretty nice monitor, but it was about the same price, and, but it wasn't curved, so I, and this was on sale right, right before Christmas for or $179, so I figured I'd like to try this one out. It does have Visa mounts. The stand for it looked a little bit wobbly, so at least you can get like a Visa mount stand if you didn't know. And it tells you kind of how to use this control stick. That's how the computers up or the monitors operated. There's no regular buttons. I don't know if there's anything else. Mm, not really. It's a 1080p monitor, so no 4K. I guess it's kind of a budget monitor, but with the curves so that raises the price up some. One thing I was concerned about was the glare, but this seems to be a pretty glare resistant screen. You can see that, but that's aimed directly up, so that doesn't really matter. When it's this way, you can kind of see there's nothing too bad, so that should be fine. So this is a pretty simple application. It just These screws are already uh, set in, so you just have to drop this piece in and then screw them in. Pretty simple, just make sure you get it this way. And now, and you can see it as a eye saver mode and flicker free. And if I can, you can see it just, it's a very subtle curve. So I don't need anything special. I just wanted to try it for that price. I'd say it's probably the cheapest curve monitor you can buy. doesn't really snap, but you can kind of feel it slide through. Okay, so I wanted to show you real quick. This is my current setup and what I'll be replacing. I'll actually kind of be going high tech gear from this old Dell monitor. That's actually a 19 inch. I, got, I only got it because it was really cheap and I just wanted to try out a, my laptop on a monitor. This was actually a pretty nice monitor and I did like it, although the it's a TN panel. It's pretty old, so it is like really yellowy in comparison to like the laptop screen or anything. I probably would have kept it if it was a bigger size, but 19 wasn't a good enough size for me. So I have a pretty small desk here, but this monitor should actually be thinner, although it'll be diagonally bigger. So, so this will be the before picture, and hopefully you'll like the after one much more. And one of the first things I wanted to mention was the glares you saw in the unboxing facing directly up. 
I have a big bright LED light up there and there's zero glare on here which is nice so I'm gonna get this flashlight and that'd be pretty that's kinda reflective it's not like mirror reflective like you can't see my hand reflecting in it even with this light so it's not glossy some people said it is but to me it doesn't look it unless it's a gloss with a matte like thin coat over it but regardless I don't think glare will be an issue whatsoever and now let me just yeah that's not going anywhere I do bump this desk all the time like that's probably the hardest I would ever bump it with my knee and it didn't move so I won't even need to bother with the beast amount get my tape measure out so there's what about four inches of gap from here to here which for me I'll get used to it but I'll kind of used to the other one being a little bit lower this is a little bit higher so if you did buy an optional beast amount that was just a stand you could adjust that but I think I'll be fine with it let me get some dimensions really quick it's about 16 and 3 quarters high on this stand slightly under 22 inches in length and then the depth with the curve just kind of eyeballing it isn't even two or the thickest part isn't even two inches so, I mean this you could put this up against the wall and the diagonal should be 23.6 which looks to be and the stands about 16 inches if that matters again sorry about the lighting it's kind of hard to do even if it was daylight I don't think I'd still be getting better light in the house has this nice you can see this brushed metal again really nice looking even though it's the back so here we have HDMI headphone VGA and then your power port and that's just like a dummy hole or something I don't believe this is a 23 I don't believe these have speakers built in I don't know why people would care I guess if you just needed to have audio and didn't care you might want to use them but to me you got to have headphones or external you do have this plug but I have my um, speakers just plugged into the audio out on my laptop yeah, it would have been nice if they would have included two um, HDMI's or a DVI as well, because then you could, with an adapter, in theory, you could have two HDMI's or convert it over to have two DVI's or whatever you would like there. Very thin profile. And that's kind of what the curve. Let me see if I kind of pick it up just straight on the edge like that very thin very elegant looking monitor especially for the price and another thing I wanted to mention really quick as you can see just the cables that came with it again I like these Samsung branded uh, twist ties that's very cute it is nicer looking than just a plain ones so I like the little things like that even though they don't matter and as I mentioned this comes with a VGA cable but I thought I saw other people saying this came with HDMI and this is the same model so I have no clue why this came with VGA only I could use VGA but I'd rather use HDMI so now I'll have to borrow because I don't have extra ones I'll have to borrow one off something else I use and then order one and replace that one so that's kind of a bummer I don't know why they would have I can understand giving you a VGA cable just for the heck of it but why no HDMI I don't know that's kind of disappointing so I would mention that in case yours doesn't come with one just make sure to have another one on hand in case you don't get one another quick nitpick is I don't like the way this cable is oriented that's just really to me that's really dumb I guess they think maybe you'll be putting this <clears throat> directly into the wall and that would keep your cable from sticking out but I think most people with computer setups are gonna have a power strip and now this is going to get in the way of my other so now I have to either put it on the end or well, actually yeah it would have to be on the end pretty much and that's why I like to keep my laptop to just unplug it and unplug it really quick so that's kind of a bad design right there but I just wanted to mention it I was gonna just keep this as an unboxing but this is another problem people complain that the text is blurry and pixelated you saw that thing popped up it actually just disappeared 
but that's because it's not at the right resolution so you either need to go into your graphics card or into here and then let's go to let me move this over if it doesn't stick So I made this my main display, that's my laptop display. You won't have to do this if you're using a desktop, but you still might have to go in here. You're going to go to resolution, and then almost whatever, unless you add another 1080p, it's not going to be there. So you just need to make sure it's 1080p. I would highly recommend that you install the Samsung driver. I did. I'll leave a link in the description. I did that. I really didn't notice a difference. I actually had an issue where my screen looked like this and I wondered what it was and I, I did a quick little search and you need if you it's, this is only if you have AMD video cards and then you just turn that over scan to zero and that fixes it. I'll also leave this in the description as well in case someone has that issue but again as I mentioned so this is if you have AMD you go into your catalyst control center or the quick windows way is again make sure it's 1080p uh, text looks crisp clear perfect so people shouldn't be giving this one store reviews just because of things like that this was an easy fix there could be defective ones but that should be how to get the text nice crisp and clear and I think the color looks good too there's so many settings here this isn't the review but there's just plenty on here to work with so I'll probably mess with these for a while but it looks really good just right out of the box and here's the final product after I got everything set up I might change things around a bit but for now I think that's pretty good I had to kind of cram everything in because again I have a kind of small desk but to me it looks pretty nice here so and the screen looks really sharp it's all set up real nice I know this video went kind of long but I wanted to sort of provide a startup guide to kind of get the resolution set up and everything for all the people that seem to be confused and just think the monitor is defective because it wasn't set up properly there was only like a few other unboxings on YouTube and they were only a minute or two long, pretty short. They really didn't talk that much about it. So I just wanted to be a little bit more in-depth. And my I like my videos to be a bit more long-winded. So hopefully that gave you more information about the monitor. Gave you, uh, again, to start up some tips on how to do that if you're having trouble with yours or if you want to know immediately how to be off and going. So hopefully it helped you out. Hopefully you liked the video. And I'll probably come back with a review or some impressions later down the line. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe and have a good one.